should a programming language be open source or closed source? Now with a programming language, say we have a, cl a closed source programming language. Say a company owns a programming language and they have, you know, 10 engineers uh, doing the programming language, making it perfect, right? These 10 engineers are working on it eight hours a day. Now that's very beneficial for the people using the programming language because they get a very professional person. Well, well, people, they do this eight hours a day and um, they know the inners and hours and, and they're going to make sure that quality is maybe top notch, that matters by the company, but um, they're going to make sure it's quality is top notch, you know, the inners and outers. Um, and that's great and all, and you're, you're going to have smaller increments of updates because there's only 10 people working on it. Um, now with open source, now now I think open source is really great um, for things like that for programming languages, mainly because it's very transparent. What what I mean by that is you know what the inners of it are, you know what you know what um, people are working on. So so if say Kotlin for example, you know exactly what they're working on. You know what their steps and goals are for the next you know month. Or two or six months or the next year for example you know what they're working on you know what they're adding um, and that you get that transparency you know what they're doing you know what each pull request is you know what you know everything um, so that's a benefit right there and also you get anyone to work on now that's a benefit and a con um, I'm a benefit you get a mass amount of developers so you may get Instead of 10 developers to pay, you get, you know, a thousand, and but they do a lot, a lot less work. They may work only, you know, an hour a week or something like that on it. The con of that is that there is no direction. So you don't have a set path. People are going to work on what they want to work on, kind of. And there's going to be a set of people that are going to accept pull requests. Um... So your your update's going to be a lot more frequent, but you are going to have some, you know, changes in design in the language itself. Um, it's going to be, um, um, I differ a little bit. Now, this matters by the people that are accepting the pull requests, but um, you're going to have a lot of different developers, a lot of different mindsets, and um, that could be a con and a pro at the same time. A big con is that your language is is um it's it's de it's depending on the popularity of the open sourcing. So if no developers are open are doing open source with that anymore, your pro your programming language isn't really going to do well, and then you need to hire people because it's not um it's not being taken care of. So um, there are pros and cons with it. Um, for me, I think. Open source is a great idea for a programming language. Uh, not the greatest idea for making it profitable for anything, but um, just transparency because a, a programming language is meant for all developers. And um, open source is the best way because you get fast updates. You get um, a whole bunch of developers working on. You get very, very, very different mindsets and everything. And it goes a lot faster. You get more features. Uh, so like Colin, it, it 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 like went so fast with the development of it, and any programming language like Ruby, for example, it goes so fast, faster than you know closed source programming languages. So I think that open source is a great idea for programming languages.